Hey, what's going on? This is Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. Screens are so important when it comes to setting up scoring opportunities in basketball, but not many coaches go into depth on teaching them. Well, today, I'm going to show you exactly how to come off a screen in basketball. Let's jump right into it. Once you understand the angles that you need to set up to set up cuts, and also your teammates' angles, even when you're setting up a screen for them, it's a game changer to getting open and using any screen. Always go opposite of where the screen is coming from. That simple. Now, how do I maximize my movement to use the screen? We talked about it before. I wanna go opposite of where the screen is coming from. So I wanna also read my teammates' body language. You are my teammate pointing to the camera. You have the basketball. So the first rule of thumb is you want a screener to have their back to where the ball is located. See, this is nonverbal communication, right? We, we've practiced this, we know this, we look for this, okay? So I know that my defender is setting a screen with their back pointing to where the ball is located. So now for me, again, I wanna go opposite. I might walk to my right, again, kinda going, again, art of deception. I might walk to my right, then change speeds before I change directions. And also another key, I wanna come off the screen low to the ground, tight to my teammate and quick with also mental reminder, no space mentality. I don't want any space between me and my teammate that set the screen because now guess what? The defender may be chasing me from behind. They can't get through this without filing. So it allows me to turn the corner quickly for a potential shot to the basket to keep it simple or to attack to the basket. I can't score it, I kick it out. So that's how I maximize my movement. See, I understand where my teammate's back is located. That's letting me know. My teammate changes that angle, then they're letting me know, guess what? This may not be the place to go because they realize my defender went too high. They changed it, boom. Again, same concept. I'm coming off low, tight, and quick, and it's a no space mentality. There's no space in between me and my teammate. I can bump my teammate all day, no foul whatsoever. That's using any screen in any situation. Now, as you set screens, the key teaching point here is you are the second cutter. So now when you set this screen, okay, get rid of the basketball. When I set the screen for my teammate, I'm now the second cutter. As I said before, my back is towards you because you have the basketball as our teammate. When my teammate comes off of me here, they went high, I go opposite low. I'm the second cutter. I split the difference. Let's say for example, for some reason whatsoever, when I'm going to set a good angle screen here, our teammate decided to cut low. That's fine, they go low, I go high. I come towards you, we split the difference. See, you wanna remain active. Just because you set a screen does not mean your job is done, especially if you wanna make a play. Hey, we're trying to reach 15,000 subscribers and we really need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week that we become a premium best ball player. So help us reach our goal and click that subscribe button. Let's go. Now, last I want to point out on that angle, okay? Let's go back to the original angle. Now, we talk about teams that love to switch. I'm coming to set this good angle. Once I set it, I hear switch. We hear switch. Think about this. My teammate here, their defender, is now awaiting to come towards me for the switch. While my defender is waiting to take on the switch of the person coming off the screen. As soon as we hear switch, as soon as you hear switch, you wanna become the second cutter and split the difference. And by splitting the difference, what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut right in front of the face of the person that's switching on you, right in front. And because I'm here, I'm stopping right in front of the rim and I want the basketball. And hopefully it's obvious I get it, now I'm shooting a high percentage at the rim because this person had to switch, they're behind me. That's how you maximize that on screening opportunities. Make sure you're taking your game to the next level. 
So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must-know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium player, check out our training vault bundle that can be found at the same link. It includes everything you need to play with confidence and poise. Enjoy your gift and keep attacking.